A nurse wearing a garbage bag for protection pleads with a reporter for his mask and gown. I'd like a mask like yours. I'd like all of us to have masks like yours. And these white suits like you have, and I have, what do I have on? What is this? What, what is that? What is this? It looks like a garbage bag. Yeah, it is a garbage bag. It happened as CBS This Morning's David Begno was reporting from inside the intensive care unit of a Brooklyn hospital. We have on garbage bags and you have on very fancy stuff. He handed over the protective gear that the nurse asked for. She has it. I gave mine to her. We sanitized it and delivered it to her over the weekend. There are disturbing new images emerging from another overcrowded hospital. Bodies stacked three high in a refrigerated truck. There are grim reports that New York City could begin burying bodies in a public park in temporary graves, trenches that could hold 10 caskets side by side until regular funerals can be held when the crisis is over. We may well be dealing with temporary burials, uh, so we can then deal with each family later. With the death toll expected to spike in the coming week, the president continues to promote the use of hydroxychloroquine to treat COVID-19. If it does help, great. If it doesn't help, we gave it a shot. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says the evidence it works is slim. When he was again asked about the drug, the president intervened. What is the medical evidence? Maybe 15 times. You don't have to ask the question. He's your medical expert, correct? He's answered that question 15 times. Dr. Drew Pinsky, who once said there was a higher chance of being struck by an asteroid than dying of coronavirus, is apologizing today. My early comments about equating coronavirus with influenza were wrong. They were incorrect. 